retrieving data from alternate URL. Currently we are in section 4 and we are about to check out the 6th video of this section. Now what exactly I mean by the alternate URL? Suppose currently we are accessing a server whose base URL is smarthut.com and in most of our requests the base URL remains same. Now what if all of a sudden you want to access a server whose base URL is different. So in that case you can use the concept of alternate URL where you can tell retrofit to ignore our original base URL and use the alternate URL. Now so far we were using a local server that was running at this address. Now let us mimic our problem statement. Suppose you want to access some data that is located in some other server. So accordingly let us create our another local server. So within my desktop, within my node application which I created earlier, I will copy these two files package.json and also server.js. Right now I will create a new folder and call it as some other node application and paste these two files here. And I will now open another terminal window and run another local server. So for that I will simply type cd space and drag and drop this folder and enter that application such as some other node application and then type npm install. Sorry, npm install. Once you are done, you will get all of these files here and then all you have to do is open the server.js file and I will now edit it in such a way that I will keep these lines of code and also these lines of code present in the bottom and remove all other lines of code. So now we are left with only the imports, the promo message, its URL endpoint, the homepage URL and then our server configuration. Now since our old server is running at 9000 port, so I will just change the port number to 7000. Along with this I will change the promo message. Along with the home page, I will change the message. Welcome to the next world. Then save it. Go to your terminal and then run this server by using node space server.js. Make sure you are within this some other node application. Great isn't it? Now go to your browser and just hit that URL. That is this URL. You should get this message, welcome to next world and also make sure your old server is also running which has a port number of 9000. Perfect. Once you are assured, then come back to your application. Currently the promo message of the welcome activity is static in nature. So I want to fetch it from our another server that we just created. To do that, we need to use our service class. Now since we are about to fetch data from another server, so I will create another interface class and call it message service. Change it to interface and then define a function that will get that message. Now to access URL from some other server, Retrofit provides at the rate URL annotation and this will again return a call object of the type of string. Now for the annotation we need to use at the rate get. But here as a parameter you don't have to pass any messages because we are about to pass the complete URL in this function here. So I will now remove this, go to the welcome activity where I want to use my retrofit code to access some other server. Right now I will comment it, the static code and then create a retrofit service for our message service interface. For that I will use the service builder class that contains the function of build service and pass here message service and use Kotlin reflection. The syntax is totally same just that here we are passing message service as a parameter. Earlier we were passing destination service and then get the reference to our call object. By using the interface then call the get message function. Now here as a parameter you have to pass the complete URL of your server that you want to access. So here I will type http 127.0.2.2 
and the port name make sure you give as 7000 and then pass the endpoint URL here itself and this endpoint URL is similar to what we have defined in our server such as messages. Now you might ask this URL differs from the address that is being shown within our terminal. This is because this URL in our anode emulator will automatically get changed to this base URL of 127.0.0.1. Once you get the reference to the call object, let us make our network call asynchronously by using the nq method. Make sure you select the callback interface of retrofit. This time we will get string in the response and then overwrite the on response along with on failure method. Check for the success, extract the string, apply the null safety and here cut this statement and paste it here and remove the static part and replace it by message and also make sure to import this Kotlin synthetic of welcome activity. You are now done. In the else part you can display the error message as well. Also here in the on failure function. Let us run our application. Well I guess we have some error. Let us go to our logcat and there it says fail to connect to this address. Well I think I know the error. This URL has to be, instead of 127, it should be 10.0.2.2. Well, by mistake, I told you 127, it should be 10. So here we go, promo message coming from another server. We have successfully done it. So next time you have another offer, go to your backend and change this message and give user some valid offer. So with this we have reached the end of this section as well. In this section we saw what a request parameter such as path parameter along with query parameter. Along with this we saw how to handle multiple query parameter by using query map. And in the end we saw how to request resources some other web service hosted in some other server by using the concept of alternate URL. Now that we know how to retrieve data from the web service, let us learn how to post data to the web service in the next section. So thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye and take care.